Okay, our story for today is Bookworm Library. Cora Caterpillar rushed through town. When she reached the Bookworm Library, she unlocked the door and hurried inside. Cora was the head librarian. She had a long list of things to do before the library opened. Cora read her list. Number one, straighten shelves. Cora bustled up and down the rows and rows of bookshelves. She straightened books that were leaning over. Cora also picked up books that had fallen on the floor. She found books that were upside down and put them back the way they belonged. When she finished, Cora looked at the neat rows of books. They look like an army of ants, she said proudly, standing at attention. Cora read her list again. Number two, turn on computers. Cora went to the table of computers. One by one, she pushed the buttons to turn each computer on. One by one, the computers hummed to life. Cora listened. They're buzzing like a beehive, she said. Cora looked at her list again. Number three, choose two books for story hour. Cora frowned. This will be hard. I like so many, she said to herself. It was true. The bookworm library had hundreds of great books. How could she choose just two? Cora thought about the books she loved best. She liked animal stories and funny stories and westerns and poems. Cora snapped her fingers. I'll read a book of poems about animals and a funny book about a cowboy, she said. Cora found the books, then looked at the clock. It was time for the library to open. Cora unlocked the door. Young bugs from all over town raced inside. Sally Spider came with Francine Firefly. Busby Bumblebee brought Wally Waterbug and a little bitty bug, Raleigh Roly Pulley. The little bugs pulled books from the shelves. They piled lots of books on the tables. They laughed and talked and read out loud. Oh my, Cora thought to herself, how can such little bugs make such a big racket? Cora put her finger to her lips. Shh, 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 she said. Nobody heard her. Quiet, whispered Cora. We can't be noisy in the library. Nobody paid attention. Cora sighed. She looked at the two books in her arms and smiled. Does anybody want to hear a story? Cora called out in a louder voice. The little bugs looked at each other. Yes, they cheered. The young bugs scrambled over to the story circle. They spread out on the soft carpet and plump pillows. Cora settled into her big cushy chair and began to read. The little bugs listened to the animal poems and the funny Western story. I liked the poem about the butterfly and the lion, said Busby Bumblebee. I liked the cowboy, said Wally Waterbug. I liked the cowboy's horse, said Sally Spider. Raleigh Roly Poly didn't say anything. He was fast asleep. Francine Firefly giggled. Raleigh thought we were reading bedtime stories, she said. Now it's time to find books to take home, said Cora. I want a book about weaving, said Sally Spider. I want a book about boats, said Wally Waterbug. Sally and Wally and Francine and Busby went off to find books. Cora gently shook Raleigh roly-poly. Time to wake up, Cora said. Raleigh rubbed his eyes. Do you want to take a book home, Cora asked. Raleigh nodded sleepily and yawned. The little bugs all found books. They marched up to Cora's desk to check them out. Cora wrote each little bug's name on a card in the book. She took out a big rubber stamp and stamped each card. You can take these books home to read, Cora said. You can keep them for two whole weeks. 
the little bugs gathered their books. They put them in their bags and filed toward the door. Goodbye, Sally, said Cora. Goodbye, Wally and Busby and Francine. Cora stopped. Where was Raleigh? Has anyone seen Raleigh? Cora asked the children. Sally and Wally and Busby and Francine shook their heads. Help me find him, said Cora. Cora looked under the tables. Sally looked by the humming computers. Francine and Wally and Busby looked behind the bookshelves. No Raleigh. Where did he go? Cora asked. The last time I saw him, said Francine, he was sleeping on a pillow in the story circle. Cora smiled and hurried to the story circle. There was Raleigh, curled up in Cora's big chair, fast asleep. Cora chuckled. I guess my bedtime stories really work, she said. Cora woke Raleigh and helped him check out a book. Then she sent the children home. I love being a librarian, Cora said, and I love helping the little bugs of our town. The end.